Okay, back up uh, for part six on this uh, install of the LIFO 4 batteries in the, uh, the sprinter here. So we'll go check that out. Now what I did, I've got the panel made here and haven't installed it yet. So I temporarily have hooked it up to uh, see how it worked before I install it because it's going to be a little difficult as it's going to be back in there for access so uh, not the only place I can put it so so first we'll test out these uh, two uh, AC chargers these are 24 volt 12 volt ACs running in parallel for 24 volts so we'll turn those on and then check the app and uh, see if those are charging properly okay I got them plugged in here so I think they're in float charge right now because the battery is pretty well charged. We'll check it on the app here. Okay, this is the application for the Victron. And they hook up to both these AC chargers plus the DC to DC. So it looks like it's detected them both here. So we'll go into this AC here first. And it connects via Bluetooth. So it connects pretty good. Sorry about the reflection here. So there's the absorption charge. Yeah, that's uh, so it isn't in the float yet, but uh, pretty much. And you got history there. You got graphs, and then the status. And this is our voltage here. As you can see on the uh, meter here, the voltage has come up. But then it dropped back down because they're pretty well fully charged. So we'll have to discharge them a little bit to fully test that. But that seems to be working fine. So now we'll move on to the uh, DC to DC. Now that has to be set up with some parameters for as cut out voltage, cut in voltage for your alternator and all that. And I have it uh, hooked into the alternator here. So this is the alternator and the AGM battery bank which is the same so it's 24 volt alternator so that's what it's reading right there so if we start the engine that voltage should come up okay well what I've done here put uh, a 1500 watt uh, load on the inverter the 5000 watt inverter to bring down those uh, lithiums a little bit so I can do some testing on recharging so this is just plugged into the inverter now this is the app for the Chins battery. Each battery has a BMS with a Bluetooth on it. Now this is one of the batteries. So what we're getting right now is 65 amps of current pulling pulled out of it with a 1500 watt load on the inverter there. So that'll pull it down pretty fast. And the voltage is holding good at 13.23. So. And then you can see the voltage there. The amount of charge, 99. We'll get that down to about 80 or so. And then you can see the cells here. They're pretty even. 3.27, 3.25, 3.29, 3.27, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29, 3.29
because that will uh, the AGM batteries will run that inverter, which will in turn run the chargers here that will charge the lithium. Not purely efficient, but usable while I'm transitioning to pure lithium maybe next year. Well, coming back to the Chins batteries, after about 10 minutes, we're down to 97% on the batteries, and uh, the current there looks to be 71, so it's pretty much the same. Went up a little bit. So we'll keep pulling that down until we get about 80, and then uh, do some test recharging. Okay, now I've got uh, 1,700 watts on the inverter, so pulling about 80 amps out of the battery, so speed the process up a little bit. So we're down to 93%, but they're holding in there pretty good. All the cells looking good. Okay, I turned on the microwave beside the heater, so now we're pulling about 3,000 watts out of the inverter. It's a 5,000 watt inverter, or 141 amps of current out of the batteries. So that should bring it down a little quicker here. Let's see what we got now. Oh, we're at 84%, so pretty close to my 80. I'll let it run a little bit more. Cells are all good, 3.2. Voltage on the meter out here says 24 volts, but that's under full load, so there might be some voltage drop there too. So. Okay, it was 24 volts out there on the meter. But this one here is almost 13 volts, so that's the 26 volts on both the batteries, so they're doing well. There's probably a voltage drop on that meter where it's hooked up there. Well, I'm going to call that good at 82%. That'll give me some uh, room to do some charging tests here. So there's our, the inverter's uh, still running. It's pulling about 8 amps there. There's probably a few things on there. So the next test will be the chargers. Okay, now we'll test these two AC chargers that are running in parallel to the 24 volt system. These two chargers and the uh, voltage did come back up out here. There was a voltage drop, so 26, 13 volts per battery. So that sounds about right. So on with this test. Okay, now these uh, chargers are flashing uh, quickly, so uh, that means bulk charge, I am sure. So we'll go check the, the uh, app there. Okay, we'll go check the app in here with the uh, Bluetooth Victron. So we got uh, that one there, I think one of the AC chargers. Got to memorize these numbers there. So. I think I hit the wrong one there. There we go. If I hit the right button, that'll help. So that is the smart DC to DC, and these two are the ACs. So hit one of these top ACs here. Connects pretty quickly. Okay, yeah, it's on bulk charge. So there's what it's doing 26.96, and the current's 12 amps, which it should be. So you double everything there, so it'd be 24 amps for both of them. The graph, I'm not too sure how to read that or what it is right now, but probably with the history, you can get a history of what it's done. So anyway, we'll uh, let that charge for a while and then come back and check it. Okay, the AC chargers test went well. So now what we're going to do is set up this... DC to DC charger. I've got a 24 volt alternator. So first thing that I need to do is to uh, I'm going to keep this off with this switch up here that'll be on the panel later. And then we're going to check the voltage here, 26 volts, and it's getting some solar, so it won't be super accurate. But I'm going to run the engine and see what that comes up to. So that's going to determine when this kicks on. It's got like a start voltage and kind of a delay factor in there 
so when you're starting up the engine it won't come start right away put a load on it but uh, you know a few minutes later or whatever it'll kick in at a at a certain voltage so I'll start the engine now and see what it comes up to okay this is the engine running at uh, just a high idle 27.1 so I'll probably put the kick in voltage about 27 so that'll give me uh, a good range there and then uh, we'll set up the parameters here okay I kicked up the RPM <coughs> to 1500 RPM still at about 27 so that seems like it'd be a pretty good voltage for uh, kicking this little DC to DC on there so let's just set up the parameters okay now we'll go into this Victron DC to DC charger make sure that hooks up with Bluetooth here yeah, that's seven there, so that's the only one's on at the point. Now it's got bulk charge, so it's running right now because it's 26 volts. So now we go into the settings, shut down ejection, in, input voltage lockout, so battery settings. Make sure that's on iron phosphate. And then you shut down. So start voltage. We're going to put that at 27. Maybe 27.1. And then we'll put the uh, delayed start voltage above the level more than this. So we'll put that one at 27. Zero. So now delayed. So it's going to be a 120 second delay. And I think that yeah, well, that's probably okay. We'll put that, leave that in there. We'll change it later. Shut down voltage 24. So that's just going to shut down if it's completely off and there's no input above that voltage. So I'll leave that for right now. So let's start up the engine and see if it turns on. Okay, it's doing a bulk charge, so it's doing what it's supposed to do, so charging at 17 amps there to the battery. And it follows the same uh, pattern as the other ones, bulk and absorption, and then kind of a float. But it uh, only charges about, about 95%, so looks like it's all working. I can adjust these a little later. Looks like that voltage is just pretty close but I'll adjust that later okay that was all a successful test there so now to put it in here and mount it in the back there and then uh, tidy up all the wires label the wires so already troubleshooting in the future so next time you see it it will be in there and installed and hope working correctly well I'm having fun uh, doing these videos and getting it installed hope you're liking them and uh, we'll see you on the next one